<laughs> well, hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Peter. We're here with Judy, Mel, and Dan. See, I messed up. <laughs> a lot of people were contributed to saving my life that night. Not feel any pain, which is, I guess, a little bit unusual. But it um, when there were two rips. And then I just, I collapsed, I was paralyzed. My husband Dave dissected when he was 40. Um, he was a full-time fireman in Australia. He was at home one day just digging in the backyard mm -hmm. and, um, and thought he was having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Not so much the pain, just similar to what Judy said, just something in his chest. I was 15, 15 and um, yeah, I was sick at the time. So I stayed at home while the rest of the family went Saying dad. I was fairly active. Um, I was always a swimmer. So um, the summer before that, I had been swimming three miles every day. And we were just, I mean, I was on eggshells. I could mm -hmm. stop looking at his chest and making mm -hmm. sure he was breathing. And every night, mm -hmm. and I slept every yeah. night. I was watching him, and he was tired. He slept a lot when it first happened. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Dane was probably the only one that said, Is he going to die? And I said, Well, you know, he might. Uh, I want to give a plug out to John Ritter Research Foundation because of the late John Ritter and what happened to him. Um, there is a foundation and a research facility in Texas that dedicates their time to doing the genetic research and, and what causes, uh, and what type of genetic mutation cause, can cause or lead to uh, aortic dissection. So that's something, if you're interested, you can look it up for um, John Ritter Research Foundation. And it must have been hard for you to tell Dane that he may or may not make it. Yeah, yeah, really hard. Yeah. Um, it's just something you never think you're going to have to face, you know, mm -hmm. you, you hear about people, you see it happen. Yeah, I didn't know whether to tell my kids or not. I mean, mine was yeah. 11 and 8. Yeah. And I just remember uh, when they told me that I needed emergency heart surgery right now yeah. or I was going to die. Uh, I talked to my kids and uh, I just said to Matthew, take care of your sister. and. <laughs> and uh, Elizabeth, you know, listen to your mom and your brother. <clears throat> okay, so.